Hello, hello, and welcome to this quick how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at the Wabberjack Automated Mod List Installer. I've been using this software and website for a while now, and it's made my modding experience a hundred times easy and pain-free. First thing that you're going to want to do is head on over to their website, wabberjack.org, and download the program. Once that file has downloaded, you're going to want to not run it from the downloads folder. Wabberjack works best in its own dedicated area, and if you run it without this, you'll likely encounter an error later on, just like this. So to save you this pain, either before you download or after, you're going to want to set up two folders in a drive on your computer that have got a relatively large amount of space, as this will be where both Wabberjack installer sits and also all your mods. The best way to do this is to have a Wabberjack folder and a Wabberjack mods folder. You'll want to stick your downloaded Wabberjack program in the Wabberjack folder. And then when it's in there, you're going to be good to load the program now. When you do this, it's going to check for any updates and download them, and then launch the program itself. Here you're met with a few options, browse mod lists, install from disk, and create mod lists. For today's video, we'll be looking at the browse mod lists option. At this point, this is where we'll be now picking the game we want to mod, and then which mod pack you wish to install. There is an added option here to enable or disable not safe for work mod lists, if that's your thing. For the interest of this video, however, we'll be sticking to safe for work content. These mod lists do vary in terms of content size and graphical demand, so be sure to pick one that your computer can actually run. The Vault Courier mod list here is also one that I'm currently playing through, but for this video, we're going to be installing a fairly lightweight mod in the interests of time. We're going to be looking at the Viva New Vegas mod pack. So when you have finally found a mod pack that you like the sound of and you can actually run, you want to go ahead and click the little down arrow in the bottom right hand corner as so. Now this is going to prep the files for download and load a readme file. This is a very important. You should always read through this readme file both before and during the installation process. These lists have been carefully put together so you should follow them and you should be just fine. Back to the Wabberjack program now and this is what you should be presented with. At this stage you'll need to assign an installation location and this is where the second folder from earlier comes into play. In here I have named folders for the different mod lists so go ahead and create a new folder and name it whatever it is the mod pack that you have chosen. And at this stage you are pretty much good to go, you just going to need to go ahead and hit that play icon to start the whole process. Now if you are a regular Nexus mod user, Wabberjack will link you to each of the mod pages individually and you'll have to download them one by one. This is indeed a way to do it, however it does take much longer and it can be sped up by having a premium Nexus account which allows for automatic downloads. So if we go into a previous Nexus account and get back to this stage, we click the play button as before, but the process happens automatically. Mods required, downloaded, installed, and patched all at the same time. The only thing that slows this process down is the original size of the mod list, your internet connection, and your computer specs. When it is done, you'll get a nice little installation complete message, and the page should look like this. Be sure at this stage to double check that readme file just in case there are any additional steps to take after the main content has been installed. Now when everything has been downloaded and you've gone through every single point in the readme file, you're going to want to launch the game from within the game folder that you designated earlier. You're going to want to scroll down the list and load up the file mod organizer. If you've used Mod Organizer before, you're going to know what to do from here, but if you haven't, you want to go over to the menu here, select the right file, and then press Run next to it. This may look different depending on the mod that you've got and what was ever in the README files. One additional thing to mention at this stage, if it ever does pop up, is that not all of the mods may come from Nexus. If you go into the settings in Wabberjack, you have the option to log into various modding platforms and associate your accounts. And honestly, that's about it. If you've got any further questions regarding Wabberjack, they do have a Discord and they are very helpful. So make sure to check those system requirements before you commit to a mod pack. Read those readme files. And most importantly, make sure to have fun in your modded worlds. So thank you for watching this video today. I do hope it helps in your modern and I'll catch you all in the next one.